Hi, I'm Jeremy Hudson from Summit Systems. I just want to do a quick presentation on our Internet of Things dashboards that are helping some customers visualize what's going on on the factory floor a little bit better, certainly when there's the remote working going on that we're all facing today. Uh, significant challenges, of course. I, we're just trying to help. I'm just trying to uh, give you some ideas here. It may be, may be good. It may be something you, you, you pass by right now, but uh, very brief. So I'm just going to move on quite quickly. This is without any uh, scripting or editing. So let's have a look. For those of you who don't know Summit Systems, uh, we've been around for quite a while, do some great stuff uh, in the ancillary equipment supply and support sector for the plastics industry. Um, in fact, one of the latest uh, dryers we've got, the ultra dryer, vacuum dryer, is an absolute head turner at the moment, taking something like 85% oh, off your energy bills on the dryers. Massive, manage, massive savings. Um, that's not what I'm talking about here, but just to give you an idea of that we, we tend to operate at the edge of the market, leading the way with new technologies uh, and new things that make a difference. Um, if you want to know about that, that dryer, just pop on to Summit Systems down below there and uh, you'll see that in the dryer section. But without further ado, I want to look at the IoT proposition. I want to show you the real dashboards in operation um, so you get a feel for what I'm doing with the IoT business unit. So I'll just flick over to a dashboard right now. So this is uh, set up as a demo, but it is real things on real systems being monitored right now. Um, we've got some, uh, in this view, very basically, I've got some total site energy consumption being monitored here. I've got energy consumptions on various machines and systems. And I'm looking at conditions, and this is, um, you know, some really important stuff going on in this section here. In fact, you can see the semaphore approach alarms. There's five things in alarm status right now. Now, these alarms are set by me, so they're not real customer alarms or anything like that, but they're just to show that um, we're, we're seeing some alarms. Now, these alarms appear on the dashboard. They also flick through to email or SMS text if you want to do so. Um, and yeah, you see, we've just gone through a refresh there. Something's just changed down below. One of the alarms has gone away. But basically, um, this is the sort of thing you see. Now, from my point of view, this IoT system is really, really straightforward to implement and deploy. We are not involved in uh, joining up with your local area networks. It's completely independent of your own IT infrastructure. So I can get this, inf this system in really, really quickly. Um, if you haven't got sensors for what we need to measure, we put the sensors in place. The infrastructure is called is LoRa One. You might have heard of that. You may not, but basically this is an IoT data transmission network, which is very, very robust, very, very stable, and very well proven. Um, and it's just completely separate from from your IoT, which I, I think is really, really important right now if we're going to move on to something quickly for you. Um, so it sensors on whatever you want. We deal with that. We we source the sensors that are appropriate for you and um, you know, we get those things installed and get them connected up to the transmitters and get the information to the dashboards. Here we can see uh, some information being uh, sent at the moment. Again, this is uh, some generic readings for maximum minimums, but just to give you an idea of what we're, we're looking at with some of our, our, our sensors, we've got some vibration uh, sensing going on. We've got some shutter doors open and closed. Very basic stuff actually on the demo here. Um, got some flood detection even going on. Amp readings of various phases, paint room humidities, water temperatures, flow rates, controllers. You know, we can put really anything you want in here. We can get a pulse signal so we can get counters, uh, get the counts displayed in the dashboards here. Think of it as whatever you want, we can, we can probably grab hold of. Now that's where we may not have um, data existing, uh, but clearly in the, on the factory floor, you'll have data in, in existing PLCs that you, that You've got your local control panels. You're, you're looking at those control panels with the clipboard, taking readings. Uh, and it depends how sophisticated you are and how you're managing that data. We can pull key data off your PLCs, put them into these dashboards here, uh, and uh, give you the analytic capabilities to look and manage that data in a better way and set alarm thresholds if things aren't as you expect them to be. Very, very flexible system. Um, that's one view with these dials and these limits, but also we can see it on a site plan view. Okay, here I've got the same info, some of the same information, some of the sensors I've placed on the site plan. 
uh, pressures here, vacuum pressures, uh, temperatures, the flow rates, shutters, uh, silo readings, uh, and you've got full control of these dashboards. Once we we get you get you up and running, um, you put your we get your site maps up and place the the sensor readings wherever you want them. It's a hugely flexible system. This could be useful in this this environment that we're in right now, where we've got some of our management teams having to work remotely who need to access data. Is this the way to go? Well, I don't know. It certainly is helping a few people right now who have got the system. And, you know, if you want to know more about this, just Give me a ring, drop me an email, um, here are the details. Once again, I'll just go up to the right page here. Uh, right down here, Summit Systems. I'm gem.hudson at summitsystems.co.uk. Great to talk. Hope you're all keeping well and uh, keeping things running as best you can.